doing it. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a medical student and an artist living in London. And ever since I started this YouTube channel, one of the things that I most wanted to do and was simultaneously the most terrified to do is talk about art. And you will see exactly why in this video. I am very passionate about art, but I do recognize that I have quite weird interpretations of what art means to me. So although this video will definitely not be for everyone, I do hope that if you watch it you can kind of understand where I'm coming from and maybe even find anything that I say in here helpful. So let's get started. The painting I'm going to talk about today is one of my personal favourites. I made it in 2017 and it is The Birth of Venus by I want to say Boucheron, but I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'll be discussing. Whenever I pick paintings to make and to keep in my home, I try to pick ones that have messages that are very significant to me. And this painting has so many layers of significance. It is one of my absolute favorites. The painting itself depicts the birth of Venus, which is the Roman equivalent of the Greek goddess Aphrodite, and basically just the moment of her birth and the celebration that ensued. The message that I get from this painting is is that we do with sometimes treating the people that we love like babies. And please let me explain. In this painting, we see that Venus has just been born and she clearly looks like an adult. However, she is technically just a baby and a newborn. For example, if I were to have a baby and at 2 a.m. in the morning, they were to suddenly start crying at the top of their lungs, what I am likely to think is that perhaps they haven't been fed enough and they want to eat, or perhaps they need changing, or perhaps they haven't slept too well, or perhaps they have a fever. I'm very unlikely to take this behavior personally and to think, oh my God, they just want to wake me up. They want to ruin my life. What have I done wrong? Why are they doing this to me? However, when it comes to adults, and if someone is to be seemingly for no reason quite snappy or rude towards me, I am much more likely to think that, why do they hate me? Why do they treat me this way? This is so wrong. Rather than to think that maybe they just had a bad day at work, or maybe they too are also hungry, or maybe they are just not feeling well, and this has absolutely nothing to do with me. Now, even though I am not condoning rude behavior, I feel very, very strongly that we should be kind almost at all times. Also, there may be cases that some people just do want to make us feel bad. When it comes to the people that we love, our close friends and family, I think that I am safe in assuming that they never actually wish me harm, and any bad behavior on their part is more likely a reflection of those childish needs that are not being met rather than a personal attack on me as a human being or a desire to ruin my life. So for the last few years, I have been trying to approach this sort of behavior towards my friends and family. I genuinely feel as though it has positively transformed our interactions. I feel as though there's a lot more kindness and benefit of the doubt. And when someone acts in a bit of a rash way, I try to make my first reaction to be, well, what kind of nice food can I give them? And how must they be feeling right now? And subtly take the conversation perhaps into how their day has gone and how they're feeling with their course or um, their job rather than to sulk and be upset and be deeply hurt in thinking that they want to personally offend me. So looking at this every single day, I see Venus who is an adult but also a baby and a child and it reminds me that deep down I think we all are babies in many many ways and we sometimes do act like them which is not the worst thing in the world but is something that I like to remember. The next weird thing that this painting represents to me is the idea of living our life like the ancient Greeks. As far as I know in certain times and places in ancient Greece men lived quite structured lives in the sense that they were born and they had their child phase and then they were sent to the army for training and then they would become soldiers and then they would come back home and they would create their family Families. They might be merchants or businessmen, and perhaps if they were to live long enough, they might even become philosophers. So they did not have one single profession or one single identity, but throughout different stages in their life, they were doing different things. And this was very much accepted and 
expected from their side. Now this helps me a lot because I think the ancient Greek vibes in this painting remind me that you don't need to lead a linear life and no career decision that I make is likely to be permanent. I can very likely have whatever I want. It might not look like what I dreamed it to be, but it definitely can happen. So it kind of also reminds me to keep my eyes open because passions are there. It's not just the passions that I randomly had as a child, but I might pick them up across my life too. I might suddenly become interested in something new, like philosophy for example, and that's something that I can integrate immediately or plan to integrate in my future life. And this reminds me that the ancient Greeks did not set their careers in stone and that I perhaps should keep an open mind towards what my future might look like. The next things that this painting represents to me is of course the idea of rebirth. Now this is a topic where I'm not sure I have good opinions on and I still feel the need to explore it a lot more but I think that there are certain cases wherein some form of turning a blank page and not being defined by things that you have done have or have been done to you in the past is very valuable. And lastly, Venus or Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty. As a girl that in her very short time in this universe has spent a lot of it in science, I have found myself in situations wherein I felt almost dismissed, judged or guilty for embracing my feminine side. I know it's, it sounds ridiculous but I feel that it helps me that this painting almost gives me permission to want to be feminine and to embrace my feminine side, which is something that I definitely need reminding of. <laughs> so yes, it also represents that. The least significant reason that this painting is important to me is that when I was younger, I was very obsessed with Greek mythology. I saw the themes in fictional books such as um, Harry Potter and Aragon, and I always liked to go to the original sources of things. So that was my stepping stone towards Greek mythology, which then consumed a very large part of my childhood. I hope I put across somehow the way that I approach art in that it has so much value in the messages that it can give us and it's not just the beauty and hopefully <laughs> my painting is beautiful it's not just the beauty of colors on a canvas but it is messages and stories and reminders and reinforcement of the values that I want to hold and therefore I find them so important and inspiring. In this house I keep this painting near my door and every time I leave I remind myself to, to be a bit kinder and be a bit more open-minded and be a bit more accepting of myself and other people and therefore I absolutely love it. I do genuinely hope that if you made it this far you did not find this video too weird. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I genuinely hope you are very very happy. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.